iOS 16 has over 100 new features, changes, and updates. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you my top five iOS 16 features so far. The reason I say so far is some of the features don't work 100% yet, so we'll cover that a little bit later as Apple updates them with later betas, and then of course the final version. The first feature that I really like, and everyone I've shown it to that's either used an Android phone in the past or maybe just hasn't been familiar with it, is haptic feedback on the keyboard. If we go into settings, go down to sound and haptics, go down to keyboard feedback, we now have the option to turn on haptic feedback for the keyboard. That means anytime you type, the phone actually reacts with a little bit of haptic feedback or a vibration to let you know you're typing. It works great. And if we go into a note and I type, hi, how are you today? It actually vibrates every single time I type a letter. Now, one thing I do wish they would add to this is a haptic feedback strength like they had on iPhone 8 and 8 Plus when you actually went to set up Touch ID. So if we go to our settings, general, and then home button, we can actually customize the actual strength of the home button haptic feedback. This is something I would love to see brought to this. Maybe they'll add it in the future. The next set of features I think are fantastic that we've wanted for a very long time have to do with messages. If you use iMessage, which most people in the United States States do if they have an iPhone, you can now edit a message after you've sent it for up to 15 minutes. So I can say, hello, how are you? And send that. And if I meant to type something else, I can press and hold it. And then I can edit it right here for up to 15 minutes. And you today, maybe I meant to say today with a question mark, we'll hit the check mark. It actually says delivered and then edited. So this is a new feature here and you can also undo the send for up to 15 minutes. So you can hit undo send, it will undo sending the message and it just disappears and gives you a little feedback or haptic feedback, letting you know it's disappeared. You can also recover deleted messages for up to 30 minutes. So maybe you deleted a, a thread. You can go back to your messages, go all the way back and you have recently deleted. So anything you've deleted, you can now recover for up to 30 minutes. You also have the option to mark any thread is unread, just slide it and you can mark it as unread. So if I just slide this thread, I can mark it as unread. And then it has the little blue dot next to it saying that it's unread. Now, if you've seen my iOS 16 video, you know that you can customize the lock screen and this is fully customizable with widgets and more. However, there's some nice things in here that I didn't realize after I've been using it for a few days. So maybe we want to create a new one. We'll just tap the create here and suggested photos takes photos photos from your photo album and make some really nice backgrounds. It sort of interweaves the time in between the background on some of these, and maybe we'll select this suggested photo and you can see it sort of sits on the horizon with the time. So this is something that is just a little nicety that I didn't realize was there until I really started to dig into this and look as look into what's available as far as these photos. We can also shuffle the photos as well. So not only customize it with our own wallpaper, but we can shuffle between the different photos. And then of course we have all of the ones that are set by Apple with full customization of the color. So we can change the colors and more. So the more I use this along with focus modes to customize it throughout the day, the more I appreciated it. And with customized lock screens, such as astronomy, it actually changes throughout the day from day to night, and then even lights up some of the lights on the different area you're located in. So it's really nice. Of course, you can customize each one of these. And the more I use this, the more I appreciate it, especially things such as photos. So if you have people or dogs or, or anything really here, it looks great with the time. So we'll just hit done for now and it will go back. One of the things that goes along with haptic feedback that I mentioned first is dictation. Dictation is something I use all the time to speak my messages and it's so much better with iOS 16. We have on device dictation when I'm speaking. And even if I turn this on to airplane mode, you'll see that if I continue dictation, it will continue as I'm speaking in real time. And if I want to stop, I I can type at any time and then just continue speaking and it will continue putting information in the actual text box and then it adds punctuation all on its own. You can even add emoji such as smiley face emoji and it will show up there by itself. So the dictation is improved drastically and it's a huge step up and works great. 
It's super simple to use. And of course, when you want to use the cursor, change things, select text, you can do that all while you're speaking and just pause by typing and then continue speaking. It works better than I really would have expected. And it's definitely one of the best features of iOS 16. One of my favorite features has to do with something we're going to see more and more in the future, and that's pass keys. Pass keys allows you to sign into secure websites without using a password and instead using authentication with your phone. So you can authenticate using face ID or touch ID, and it will bio authenticate to log you in without using a password at all. It's much harder to actually be fished using that since you're not actually transferring your password anywhere. And if we sign into this sample website, this gives Gives you an idea of how it works. So you'll see it says use passkey from a device with a camera, or you can use a security key, use an external security key to sign in, hit continue, and we get a QR code. So it says scan this QR code with a device run running iOS 16 or later, or another compatible device to sign into this passkey demo. So you can sign in using this super easy, and this will allow you to use this in the future on many different websites just signing in using authentication this way instead of a password. Now this is a big standard with the Fido and it allows you to sign in not only something that Apple's doing, but also something Microsoft and Google and others are doing. This is going to be the new standard so we can have a passwordless future and it's tied to our phone securely. It's going to be very hard for someone to actually scam you once you have this installed and on every website. So once developers add passkey authentication, this will be great in the future. Now those were my top five features of iOS 16 so far, but there's two more I wanted to share with you. The first one has to do with photos. So if we go into photos, you'll see we have different media types under our albums. And if we scroll down, we have duplicates. It's found 1,747 duplicates for me. I can actually manage these, delete the duplicates, or just leave them alone. So this is done automatically on device and works seamlessly just by itself. You also have locked, hidden, and recently deleted folders where you need to use either Touch ID or Face ID to unlock this. So that's something that's really great that really has been overlooked. And then also shared photo libraries is huge. I think that's going to be great for families. Finally, families can share their photo library, something that Google photos and others such as Amazon photos have had for a very long time. Now it's finally available on iOS 16. Another big update has to do with mail. I think this was also overlooked, but if you use the Apple mail app, this is going to be a great update. If we go into mail within mail, if we want to send a message, we can now schedule the send, just press and hold on the send button. And we now have options to send now, send later tonight, send tomorrow or send later based on a schedule we set. This is now built into Apple's default mail app. Now, if we want to send it now, we can actually go to the bottom and undo send for up to 10 seconds. So we'll tap on undo send and it undoes the send. So it gives us a little bit of time before it sends out and then also allows us to either change it or just delete it altogether. So that's something that's very simple that I think is something incredibly helpful. And then also search has been upgraded as well, just to help you if maybe you put in a typo or something along those lines. Future updates that I'm looking forward to is live text in video. I haven't been able to get this to work yet, but when you're in a video, you can select text and then copy and paste that text or move it around. Also within photos, one thing I wanted to share is the ability to press and hold on an object and copy and paste it anywhere. This is the original iPhone, just press and hold, and it just cuts it out of the photo pretty seamlessly. That's incredibly impressive and something that I'll probably use a lot in the future when I'm copying and pasting between different things. So that's built in and incredibly impressive. You can press and hold on just about any object and you can move it around, copy, paste it or delete it even. Those are currently my top iOS 16 features. Of course, there's much more over 100 features, changes and updates. Let me know your top five in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think is best in iOS 16. Of course, if you'd like to get this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.